right people what is up my name is Cameron and welcome back to another episode so today we are out here doing a little bit of trout fishing I guess you could say and flounder fishing but right now just trying to poke around for some trout we actually already have one on the stringer which we'll show you in just a minute a nice about 17 incher um, but right now I'm just throwing a down south with or a plum down south on a what a 1 8 ounce jig head or something like that and uh, y'all be happy to know that I got the reel back so went and picked it up this weekend um, no more coffee grinding as y'all like to say in the comments and uh, also using the rod that I left up there Which is a not my fault rod the custom one with the name on it um, Anyways, we're gonna poke around for some trout see if we can get anything and then in a little bit We're gonna head over to the other side and see if we can pull some flounder out. So stay tuned and let's try to get on something <laughs> Good trout. All right, guys, we are on right here. Really nice trout. Man, it's been a while since I caught a trout, guys. I hope y'all can see me. We haven't even done intro yet, so don't mind the hair. It's getting a little long, but uh, that right there is a fat trout. I actually had a bite just about a minute ago, and it felt like a good fish. And there we go. About 17 inch trout got on this bite. Look how fat that thing is. That's like a perfect fish. So, first fish of the day, we're gonna go ahead and throw him on the stringer. Super sharp. Stinky pants stringer from the top to the bottom. He's on. All right, guys. So it is, I believe, like four o'clock in the afternoon. So we have a couple hours to fish here. Um, we have an incoming tide right now, uh, but we're actually where we're fishing right now is better on an outgoing. Um, but we just decided to fish it anyway because there's some people on the other side. Oh, there's a bite. But yeah, I'm throwing a one eight ounce jig head with a plum down south, like I said. Um, honestly. This is a little light for this rod. You can cast it, but you can't really feel much when you're working it. I like this rod for popping corks, Carolina rigs, um, and one fourth jig heads or whatever. Because it is sensitive enough that you can feel the bite, but it's a little, just a tad bit heavy for these light lures. But I think it'll be perfect for flounder fishing. And so far, I haven't had this thing for the last month whenever I've been flounder fishing a bunch because I left it up at my grandparents, but now I have it. Uh, switch over to a popping cork with about two and a half feet of leader line a little treble hook and i'm actually throwing a gulp right now um i was throwing shrimp and i used like four and i got a bite on every single cast and what felt like good bites i mean or what looked like good bites the cork would go straight down none of that bobbing around bull crap but i couldn't connect with any of them so now i switched over to a gulp so i didn't waste any more shrimp right now and um i've also been getting bites on just about every cast but i still can't hook into anything so i don't know what's going on Probably a little fish, but I mean, the corks is absolutely disappearing. I guess we'll see. A little Sandy finally hooked something. Nice. A giant, a monster Sandy, right? Man, it has been a little slow. We've probably been out here an hour without catching anything. Let that little dude go. Boop. We're gonna keep on fishing. I think I'm gonna put a lure back on because popping cork is not attracting anything but a few small bites. We'll try one more shrimp. We are making our way back to head to the other side. Um, just absolutely slow. We haven't caught anything in a while. Sun's starting to go down. We probably have an hour until it's completely dark. I think less probably. So we're gonna go to the other side. Probably do shrimp on a jig head. You know, the classic. And uh, see if we can pull out a flounder so we have one trout on the stringer which y'all know what that means catch and cook but maybe we'll be able to get a flounder out too spice it up a little bit i think i got a little flounder here the crab story of our night <laughs> Well, it ended up being a slow day. We got our one trout right here, a nice trout, nice fat one. We're gonna throw them in the cooler. And I just wanna show y'all something cool about this stringer right here. Best part about the stinky pants stringer. Pull that end off, slide it. And we're trying to show y'all with the light, but otherwise, dump them in the cooler. Put it back on and you're ready to go. No need to unthread them all the way. Back down the other side to the uh, point, whatever you call it. Yeah, pretty neat. We're gonna head back. We're gonna try to do a little catch and cook on this. Um, like I said, or as y'all saw, it was slow. Uh, 
caught that one trout and then did we even maybe i think i caught a little croaker and a sand trout but uh yeah the fish were biting right when we got here we got like five or six bites back to back uh fought one for like 10 seconds it got off don't even think i recorded it and then after that it just went completely dead and that seems like it's just for everyone else so we'll see you on the house in just a minute all right guys what is up it is the next day we got our one trout right here from yesterday really fat speckled trout honestly like his tail looks so small and short because he's just really fat um <clears throat> so we're gonna show y'all how to flare him and then we're gonna head inside because we are throwing it back a little bit we're going back to fish tacos we haven't made them in probably like i don't know like three months it's been a while so i'm excited so let's get right to it all right so to start on trout turn him over cut an angle right behind his gill plate down to the uh top of his uh whatever those fins are <laughs> until you hit the backbone then turn and just start going sideways i think we've showed this like a thousand times but you're gonna hit this bladder right here, air bladder, and that thing is like gum, it's extremely hard to cut through. So just pull your knife out, go over it, and then keep on going. Instead of just trying to whack right through it. Okay, once we get down, we flip them over. Perfect. Take our knife, cut it down just a little bit, straight down to the skin, turn it sideways again, and then just grab that skin and start pulling while moving that knife back and forth. Obviously my knife is super dull. Okay, once you're out here, all we're gonna do is take it, go around that, those rib bones. They're, they come at an angle up here, so cut down them. Pull it off and you got a perfect speckled trout flay right there, boneless. All right, ready for the pan. We're gonna do the other side and then we'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen now. We got our fish uh, flayed out right here. And we're just gonna do black and fish tacos, like I said. So black and seasoning. I like Old Bay better, but this is the H-E-B one. It's not bad. We want to put a whole bunch on there. Make sure it's sticking to it. Turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. Don't be scared of the black and seasoning. It's where the flavor comes from. All right, now that we're almost done with this, we're gonna head over there. We got the butter melted down in the pan, pretty hot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the pan. We got the uh, butter and oil right here, a little bit of avocado oil, and then the butter for flavor. We're hoping it's hot enough. I'm gonna turn it on just a little bit, but it's getting there. All right, we're gonna let that start to cook. Once the bottom gets nice and black, and then we're gonna flip it over to the same thing to the other side, and then put it all on the taco. So to go on top of our fish, we're gonna make a little avocado cream sauce. Super simple. So we have our avocado right there, just one of them. Could do two, but just one of them. A couple of limes. I think we're only gonna need two, but we'll go ahead and cut three. And then sour cream and then salt and pepper and that's it. So we're gonna get started with that. We are going to, we're gonna go ahead and throw our avocado in. Actually, we're gonna cut it up just a little bit first. So it blends easier. Give it a little a rough chop right there. And in she goes. All right, we're gonna flip the fish right here. Oh, perfect. Still a little bit, but that's good. Uh, brown butter. And that is what you're looking for, not burnt, perfectly blackened. All right, we're gonna take the juice of a couple limes right here. One. We're gonna start with two and then we can always add another one. We don't want it to be too much lime, but we also need it to be thin enough that we can put it on top of the taco. We're gonna take our sour cream. I'm not even gonna measure it, just gonna guess. We're gonna take like a big giant spoonful of it. Throw it in to the top one and blend it up and see how it looks. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more sour cream because it's still pretty thick. Oh, another big scoop. Let me go ahead and add more. It's super thick. All right. All right. A little bit of salt and pepper in here. About two pinches of salt. Give it a nice stir. And check that out. That color is perfect. Barely thicker than what we would like, but it's not bad. All right, well. Never thought this day would come, but I'm sick of y'all dogging us in the comments for not cooking our tortillas, all y'all complainers out there. 
Guys, they're pre-cooked, but just the olives alone, I'll heat them up. Don't worry. And then once this is done, we're gonna build the taco, show you exactly what we're putting on it, which is like the most simple thing ever today, is just coleslaw, black and fish, and that uh, avocado cream sauce, so. All right, so in just one minute, we'll throw it all together. All right, so we got our nice and toasted tortillas right here. We're gonna start with a little bit of coleslaw. Not even the red cabbage one or whatever, just normal coleslaw. Sprinkle on each of these things. Maybe a little bit more. Might as well. You might as well go more, right? All right. Then we go over to our blackened fish, which is starting to fall, flake apart on us. Just lay it in there. Yeah, we're using our hands, because why not? And the finishing touch. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. And of course, more lime. Ready to eat. All right, we're gonna give it a taste for y'all, but we already know it's gonna be good, right? A little bite right here going in. I really, honestly guys, I really don't like to cook my tortillas. I like them to be soft, but y'all just won't leave it alone. So gotta please the crowd, right? Well, like always, tacos are always the number one way to go whenever you're cooking the fish. Um, it was pretty good. The only thing that wasn't as good was the uh, tortilla, of course. So next time, we're not cooking them. Thank you for the advice. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe down below. If you are, like always, thank you so much. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at before underscore outdoors. Until next time, peace.